This one is a 1967 Royal Safari vintage portable typewriter. Color is baby blue. And it's got some age to it, but it still looks nice. Let me show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. This one has a magic margin function on each side. So say you wanted the margin right there, you just hit the magic margin button and it'll set it right there magically. Same thing with this side. Say you want it towards the middle, you just hit it and it'll set the margin on that side too. And if you want to move it towards the edge, you just hold the carriage release, which is behind the knob here on the left and the magic at the same time. And you can move it all the way to the edge like I did there. Same with this side, I'm going to move it all the way to the edge. And now we have a margin on each edge. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. This one has a cursive font. I'll show it to you when I'm done with the next sentence. I'm going to type a sentence on the next line in red. To get to the next line, you hit the line space and it'll skip one or two spaces and bring you back to the beginning of the margin. To switch from single to W, to flip that switch down. There's a one and a two up here. So when you have it on double, it skips two spaces when you hit the line space. We're going to put it back on single and go back to the next line. And we're going to switch from black to red. And to do that, you switch this switch up here. There's an R, a B, and an S, and the R stands for red type of sentence. Type's very nice. The print is beautiful. This is a cursive slash script is what they called it. The font was called script, but it's a cursive font. Classic cursive. Uh, gorgeous the print is beautiful brand new ribbon so it's print is nice and dark to pull the paper out easy you just flip this switch on the right side here forward and it'll pull right out also allows you to load thicker paper like carbon copy or card stock got a backspace on the left side here that works good touch control next to that you got low medium and high and that just loads of spring so when you hit the keys the resistance is higher when you have it on H for high and lower for L. It's got a margin release here on the right side so you get to the end of the margin and there's a mechanism to stop you from typing if you hit the margin release it will allow you to type past that margin and finish the word at the end of the page. It's got a column which is the same as a tab function so what you do is you hit the column, there's no tab set, so it'll go to the end. We're gonna set a tab right here by pushing in that button. And it stops at that tab. And then we're gonna clear it with this side. And it's clear, works great. Uh, we're gonna open the hood. When you take this off, be careful, because if you bend this, then it'll sometimes get caught on the keys. You can just bend it back if that happens. Best not to even worry about it. Switch that black to black. You have the spools. All the brand new ribbon is on this left side, so it's pulling to the right. You want to switch the direction. You just push that like that, and it'll start pulling to the left. We're going to switch it back so it pulls to the right, clockwise to the right. That works good. And that's it for that portion. On the back side, we just have the carriage release lever on behind the knob on each side. And that's it for all the functions now available for sale on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.